There is no right or wrong way to monoprint and like all processes, just takes a little bit of experimentation to find the way that suits you. You will need very simple materials to get you started. You'll need a piece of acetate or plastic surface to roll out acrylic paint onto and you'll need two rollers, one which you'll keep clean and dry and the other one which you'll use to roll out the acrylic paint onto the acetate. To start with, simply squeeze a blob of acrylic paint about the size of a penny piece onto the acetate and then start rolling it out to create an even layer of paint across the whole surface. When the paint is evenly spread, get a piece of paper and gently rub it over the surface or gently roll it with a clean roller. It's important to work quite quickly because the acrylic paint will act as a sort of glue and as it dries the paper could glue to the acetate and then will be difficult to peel off. So try and keep that in mind and work quickly. You can either work with a pencil or pen or a sharp tool and start creating your design or drawing on the back of the paper. This will be the back of the print. When you finish your drawing, carefully pull the paper away from the acetate and your monoprint will be revealed. You could also try, rather than actually drawing on the back of the paper, you can draw on the back of the acetate itself. That's quite good because then you can actually see what you're drawing and you can experiment with mark making more evenly. Finally, you can have a go rolling out uh, the acrylic paint onto the acetate as you did before, but this time draw directly onto the wet acrylic paint. Create your pattern into the paint. Experiment with mark making, experiment with design. Then when you've finished, gently apply the paper and gently roll across the back of the paper. Again, work quickly to avoid the acrylic paint drying and the paper sticking to the acetate. And then when you're done, peel back to reveal your monoprint. The most important thing with monoprinting is to keep experimenting and keep working quickly. It's a really good way for not being um, inhibited in the way you work and for really being open and experimentational. You can have a go building up a pattern. So by working on a larger piece of paper and then building up a pattern, a tessellated pattern, or you can um, work on the same piece of paper and create a layered print. Anyway, good luck with it.